Hi everyone and welcome back to another Space Engineer modding video. This one is going to be massive. Why you may ask? Well, I decided to put together a list without any restriction to somewhat recreate Imperial Galactic survival gameplay, the survival aspect of, it, of that game, in a Space Engineer. Why EGS though? A few weeks ago, I made a comparison video, EGS vs Space Engineers, which you can check it out up there in the card. And I praise EGS for its survival, but I'm not a big fan of the creative mode in that game. Or better to say, I wish EGS had better physics and building system, that's all. But thanks to the power of modding and workshop, we can make Space Engineer survival 10 times better than the vanilla version. Okay, this video is going to be really hard to write a script for it with all the mods. So here's what we are going to do. Let's categorize all the 50 plus mods that we have in our list. We have gameplay combat and gameplay new mechanics, solar system, more functional blocks, decoration blocks, HUD, and some optional uh, mods. Okay, let's kick things off with gameplay combat. Vanilla version only have few pirates here and there, and some structure, some pirate base, that's it. So let's change that first by adding planetary installation and tons of threats in a space by adding these mods. Make sure to have them all active. Planetary installation, surface occupation, planetary cargo ship, and more. Now, I really don't recommend to have all of these mods active at the beginning of your uh, playthrough. Or you just won't be able to defend yourself against all the threats. Unless you want a hardcore survival experience and you don't mind getting your shit blown up all the time. Now since you're not going to be dealing with only one pirate ship, it's best to have some modded weapons and some mods that are related to it. Now don't worry, most of these mods are very well balanced and they won't ruin the balance of the game. And ammo management is super useful, especially if you're in the middle of battle. Now how about some defenses, we got defense shields and personal shield generator. Alright, let's say you survived the attack, now it's time to salvage the wrecks. Thanks to these two mods, you can speed things up. Okay, I'm done with combats, let's add some new mechanics, starting with new survival mechanics, hunger and thirst, and also we got thermal mechanics, make sure to have that text hot API to show you basically how you are doing in terms of like how hungry or how thirsty you are and show the temperature of your ship as well. Now not you only have to worry about oxygen and hydrogen and power, you also have to keep your eyes on hunger and thirst and thermal. Well, now your ship components output heat, so you need to place down heat sink to combat the heat or you'll start taking damage, I mean your ship will start taking damage. Now let's add some blocks that introduce new ways to approach to already existed mechanics. This one is really important, small ship mega mod pack. A lot of blocks are just available for large grid ships, but not anymore, thanks to this one. For our next mod, aren't you just tired of welding and grinding all the time? Not even that, with all the crazy combat mods, you just can't take your time to slowly weld blocks and basically that's where the nanite factory comes to play. This thing is really hard to make and requires a lot of power to operate, so make sure your ship and your base is ready to handle the load. By the way, this is not the only one that you can use. Nope. There is also another mod called Nanobots, I think it's called Nanobots, that are easier to build and operate. Automated beam drill. Look, no one got time to drill through asteroids while there are pirate ships all around you. So use this mod. Force field. Thanks to this mod, finally we can make massive hangars and not worry about losing pressure. 
though be careful, bullets and missile still go through the force field. Let's change some of the flight mechanics. I guess everyone know about these mods, especially if you've been following my channel, I've included these three or like four mods in pretty much all of my modding videos. Just one thing, I recommend installing some speed mod as well, but if you saw some strange behavior from other ships and some other mods, especially the first few mods, just remove the speed mod, but it is quite handy to have a speed mod in your world. Third ship tools. For some reason, King decided to only use the third system for handheld tools, but we can expand it to ship tools with this mod basically. Climbable ladder. Trust me, you're gonna need this one, and um, I hope someday they bring back the ladder to the vanilla game we used to have it. How about some scripts? Automated LCD. It's really simple to use and super useful. Alright, that's pretty much it for the mods that will affect the gameplay side of things. Let's move on. In Imperion, we have proper solar systems with different planets, moons, and so on. So here are two worlds that add more planets and moons and also structures. By the way, pick only one of these two or just download a bunch of planets and make your own solar system. In that versus video, I mentioned that EGS has more blocks in terms of variety. So let's do the same thing here as well. Cockpit, command console, doors and many many more. Also, some decoration blocks. And at the end, we have a new HUD mod that I highly recommend to install. So, there you go guys, a list with 50 plus mods, I think 52, not sure. You can find all the mods down in the description. I might upload a world with all the mods in it, not sure. Anyway, few things I have to mention here as well. Um, the only thing that I was not able to add in this list was progression system, even though we have a mod for it, but I decided not to include it since we have tons of other mods and the progression system will affect the, the, the other mods. So if you want it, add it, I don't recommend it. And also some of these mods might break in the future after updates and some of them might misbehave even though I checked them all. Um, there is still a chance some of them might not work properly, so keep your eyes on that as well. After all, it's modding and the game is still in beta, still getting updated. Anyway, that is it for now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Share it with your friends. And again, sorry for my bad English, not my main language. Uh, my voice is going down. Until the next time, good luck surviving and I guess fly safe.